mid-Atlantic coast. Not California, but... Uh, we do get good surf here, uh, though people sometimes don't believe that. In Long Branch, there's a, a very strong surfing population. But when ice crystals are forming, only the birds are feeling it. It's got to be a lot warmer for me to get in the water these days. Where we're standing right now, a month ago, it was 30 feet deep here. Where we're pumping sand onto the beach here to raise the elevation of the beach and pre prevent storm damage um, from uh, eroding away at houses, buildings, um, anything near the, uh, the coastline. The Corps of Engineers is partnering with the state of New Jersey and the Stevens Institute of Technology in this $9 million operation. A dredge boat basically sucking up sand into its hold. It's mixed with water, so it's kind of a slurry. And they will pump the sand via these pipes um, onto the beach. And, uh, and then the bulldozers uh, move it around to the correct rated height. This project will place 700,000 cubic yards of sand on, uh, on this Long Branch Beach, which is equivalent to about 70,000 dump truck loads of material. Material that does double duty. Well, surfing and beach recreation is, is the lifeblood to these communities. Uh, so for us, it's really interesting to see if we can design the beaches not only to protect the infrastructure and homes and the value of the property along the coast, but can we actually create some recreational assets. This project has feeder beach and that will naturally migrate in the longshore current to create new sandbars that we hope will immediately allow for uh, surfers to still use this beach. And on past renourishments where they've had to wait even years until the site became surfable again. Steps that will make for a surfing summer thaw. Mary Cochran, Long Branch Beach, New Jersey.